So we have five women ministers in the cabinet mm-hmm. and five of us are very united when it comes to speaking up for women and children. And uh, so when we, um, every time we got together in the beginning, the first thing that we all uh, said we wanted to do was to ensure that Malaysian women can pass citizenship to their children who are born abroad, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so we told PM, we said that has to be our number one reform uh, to level the playing field for the ladies. And so we are very thankful that the Home Minister and the Prime Minister agreed that that has to be our one, the first reform. And so uh, we have seen that process. Uh, and of course, with that process came other amendments being proposed and that was brought to the House and also fierce debate. Um, I feel that citizenship is not a straightforward matter. Different states have different challenges. And uh, if you speak to the people in Sabah, it's a different ballgame altogether. And so um, personally for me, um, my main priority as a member of parliament, um, when I campaigned, we spoke about, let's write this wrong for Malaysian mothers, Malaysian women. That was my priority. And so we uh, managed to table that in parliament. Um, No matter how fierce the criticism is outside, nothing will change the fact that it is this unity government that brought the the bill to parliament to give Malaysian mothers that equal opportunity and right to grant citizenship to their children born abroad. Yeah, For the uh, uh, FAM, there are four naturalized players mm-hmm. in the national team. Majority of them are heritage players. Mm-hmm. Okay, so heritage players means they have one parent who is Malaysian. Some of them, mothers, gave birth to them overseas. Yes. Right. This is the very same struggle that we are fighting for, mm-hmm. and I, I, I feel that it is good to have heritage players. Uh, naturalized players, we have to. Uh, lessen the dependency on them. But heritage players, they are Malaysians. This is the very same thing. People just don't know the numbers. I mean, they look at how they look and they think, okay, this one naturalized player. And and we want to be able to speak to these children who are now overseas and say, hey, Malaysia is also your home. You have a place here. This is the essence of the legal reform, we are trying, legislative change, that, a constitutional amendment that we're trying to bring. And, and we see this manifesting in our football team, right? Uh, so don't judge Malaysians by how they look. All of us, I, I am certain if you have Chindian children, you know how they struggle. Uh, you know, they are always being labelled as um, uh, this race or that race. And I just really want just relate as Malaysians. Yeah, that that is the kind of... Um, I, I want sports to be able to give that opportunity to Malaysians uh, just to be who they are. Yeah. To try and apply for citizenship, but they, they got rejected. But, you know, in, in, on the other hand, we have footballers or like athletes, foreign athletes who come in and then they can just... My stand is consistent as a member of parliament. eh? I'm not speaking as a cabinet member, okay? Because this is my opinion as a member of parliament and this struggle has been there uh, since the last term that I feel statelessness uh, is an issue that government must tackle. We cannot put it uh, on hold for far too long because it will come back and bite our country in so many forms. Um... Statelessness is very cruel. Statelessness is not the fault of the child, the baby. Okay, um, we, If you do not want to give them the right to vote, you must at least ensure that people have the right to health care, the right to education, the right to just live life, get married, raise a family, um, And I would like to see progressively us talking about this and tackling it. Uh, One thing I will acknowledge is that we will never be able to bring this 
and resolve this in one single debate. Yeah, because what is real in KL is different in Sabah. And that is something we must acknowledge, the sensitivity in the different region. Uh, and as a result of these sensitivities, really the only solution is through uh, engagement that is peaceful and there must be a lot of respect going into this engagement and it cannot be emotional because the moment you are emotional about this then engagement will break down yeah and when you're no longer talking then you will be suspicious of each other and you cannot tackle uh, citizenship that way yeah